Welcome to Tor Cron. If you're a traveler and love nature, then you're at the right place. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Asia is the largest continent. It's beautiful, it's unexplored, and the best part is it's cheap. After the pandemic, the year 2022 is perfect for traveling. There are literally thousands of cities around the globe that are beautiful. These are our picks for the top 99 cities to visit in Asia. Paro. Paro Valley, a breathtaking valley that invents and glorifies Bhutan's rich history, is a true paradise for travelers. This valley, one of the broadest and most scenic in the land of thunder dragons, expands its highly contagious beauty right from the point where the enticing Wang Chu River meets the Paro Chu River. From here, Paro's enchanting beauty reaches the lofty Mount Jomohari. This beautiful valley is dotted with countless monasteries, temples, scenic spots, and tourist sites, providing visitors with a plethora of diverse events. Paro is a highly peaceful, serene beauty with clean air, surrounded by unleveled mountains, beautiful green fields, and historical buildings. The city's only international airport is located right here. Undoubtedly, Paro is a peaceful historical town that is best explored on foot. Don't miss out on its magical sights. Takayama a fun city in Japan that you should visit. You can find this city in the Hida region of Gifu Prefecture, and it's located in a mountainous area. They also call this city Haida Takayama, as there are multiple places in Japan called Takayama. The city has a population of more than 88,000 people, and it's actually the largest city by area in Japan. When you get to Takayama, you should definitely visit the Miyagawa Market on the Miyagawa River. You can find some delicious foods there as well as traditional crafts from the area. Another stunning spot to visit is the Shiroyama Park. You can find it near the ruins of Takayama Castle and it has a lot of trees. This makes the park exceptionally beautiful in the spring when the trees bloom as well as in autumn when the leaves are really colorful. Bulgan. Mongolia is a landlocked country in East Asia. Bulgan is a small town in Mongolia that tourists can visit to see the beauty of nature and enjoy some traditional Mongolian culture. Bulgan city holds its rich history. It has a monastery, Zayan Gejin Monastery, which dates back to the mid 1600s. If you're more of a nature person, you should also check out the nearby scenic beauty of this city. There is Oji Lake, Orkhan Valley, Tarvagatai Meadow, and Uran Togo. You will surely enjoy these views from the top of a hill. Bagan. It is a historical place in Myanmar that is famous for its Buddhist monuments from the 11th century. Bagan is also known as the Golden Land due to the number of its temples covered in pure gold. The city is home to more than 2,000 Buddhist temples and pagodas. The temples are spread out over a wide area around the river of the Ayurwadi. Some places of interest in Bagan are the Shwezigan Pagoda, the Mahabodhi Temple, and the Hitolaminlo Temple. These temples hold the most important archaeological sites of Myanmar. Bagan is also famous for its beautiful sunset, hot air balloon activity, busy local market, and Ananda festival. So if you can make it to Myanmar, Bagan will be a must-see destination. Lahore The cultural capital of Pakistan, the city is full of a rich culture and heritage, and there are a lot of interesting places to visit. If you're a foodie, Lahore is a must-visit. The city is famous for its delicious street food, and you shouldn't miss out on it. On every street, you'll find some eateries where you can eat local delicacies, and all that at super affordable prices. The first thing to do when you visit Lahore is to explore its walled city, or locally known as Old Lahore. This part of Lahore is present in the heart of the city and is home to centuries-old buildings and infrastructure. There is the Lahore Fort, Bad Shahai Mosque, Masjid Wazir Khan and the tomb of Jahangir. 
You can explore all these in a single day. And if you're a fan of the arts, then there are lots of museums to explore, like the National Museum, Lahore Museum, Army Museum, and Shalamar Gardens. All in all, Lahore will not disappoint you if you're an eager tourist. Gao. A picturesque city in Sri Lanka's southern coast is teeming with colonial influences from the Portuguese, Dutch, and British rulers. The old Dutch fort, a 17th century Dutch fortification that currently serves as the entrance to the majority of the city's attractions, is the center of attention. You can walk around the Gal Fort and observe its stunning clock tower as well as its unobstructed views of the ocean from certain locations. Don't forget to check out the National Maritime Museum, which is housed in an ancient Dutch warehouse with vibrant yellow color. A gorgeous lighthouse can also be seen. However, older versions have stood in the same location for at least since 1848. The current lighthouse was built in 1939. You can also go to the Japanese Peace Pagoda, which was built in 2004 and offers beautiful views of the beaches in Gal and Unawatuna, Bursa, a fun city to visit in Turkey. This city is located in the northwestern part of Turkey and it's the fourth most populated city of Turkey, as it has more than 3 million inhabitants. In this city, you'll find many remains of the Ottoman Empire, as well as a lot of forests in the area surrounding the city, both of which are great to visit. Another fun thing to visit in Bursa is Bursa Teleferic. Here you get the chance to go up a mountain and enjoy the stunning views while you're hiking. You could also visit the Great Mosque, which is very impressive. And if you love nature, you should visit the Bursa Culture Park of Galiyazi. This is a lake where you can take some amazing photos. Kiva. Kiva is a UNESCO World Heritage List protected site. It is an undervisited tourist destination, but the hope is high that Kiva will continue to grow as a must visit place thanks to its history and culture. Kiva has some amazing sites to see and explore. The city has four historic fortresses that once protected it a main fortress, Ikenkala. Kunya Ark Fortress and Dishan Kala Fortress. Each is worth spending time walking around and experiencing the great views of the city. There are over 100 mosques in Kiva and you can visit these amazing religious buildings. One of Kiva's most impressive areas is Old Town. The Old Town is inside the city's walls and many of its best attractions are within it. The area is now a sort of open air museum with more than 50 historical monuments to see. You can wander around the area at all times of the day, giving you the chance to see it in a different light. The Gobi Desert. The world's sixth largest desert is called the Gobi Desert, and it is one of the most famous places on Earth. One of the interesting things about this desert is that it can reach negative 40 degrees Celsius in winter, and it snows. Can you even believe it? It is home to wildlife like the Mongolian gazelle and black-tailed gerbil. Mongolian wild ass, wild camel, wolves, and sand grouse. The desert is also famous for hiking. Many people enjoy sand dune boarding in the Gobi Desert. Some places to visit in the desert are the Flaming Cliffs, Yolan Am um, Ice Field, and the Oyu Tolgoi. All these places hold some unique features and attractions that are hard to find in any other place on Earth. The Gobi Desert may sound like a dull place, but it can be the most exciting experience of your life. You can start your day by watching the incredible sunrise there, and then you can ride on your camel to a fascinating sand dune, where there is a high chance of finding a dinosaur fossil. Not a dull place at all, is it? Marisa Marisa is a thrilling place in Sri Lanka, but even more so, all you have to do is understand its atmosphere in a few words is picture golden brown sands, turquoise blue waters, palm tree swings, and incredible sunsets. There's a secret beach with fine sands, gentle waves, and a tranquil ambiance separate from the main Marisa Beach. The Coconut Hill, a small hill covered with coconut palms and a viewpoint for seeing an amazing sunset, is only a 10-minute stroll from Marisa Beach. Even if you're a beginner, you can try activities like swimming, paddle boarding, snorkeling, and surfing at Marisa Beach. Whale watching in Marisa, which takes place between November and April, is another exciting activity. Although it can be pricey, it's worthwhile because you'll get to see blue whales, humpback whales, bride's whales, and killer whales up close. Rangamadi 
Do you want to spend some time in the middle of a sinuous lake streaming around highlands, milky cascades, tumbling from high above green hills, and tribal people's simple lifestyle relieving stress? Well, it's a sign for you to discover Ranga Mahdi in Bangladesh to experience all of nature's flavors. Ranga Mahdi is one of three districts in the hills tracks of Chittagong. If you start your journey in Chittagong, a 77-kilometer road will take you to Rangamadi. It is home to several indigenous tribes and numerous temples for worship. Kayaking on Kap Tai Lake, the majestic Shuvalong Waterfall, and the remarkable Rangamadi Hanging Bridge, which connects the lake's banks, are just a few of the many attractions that you'll definitely fall in love with. And don't forget to spend time amidst the beauty of Peta Ting Ting Island and interact with nature at Kap Tai National Park. Ashgabat. Ashgabat may not be the first travel destination that springs to mind in Asia, yet its wealth of history and culture is well worth getting off the beaten path. The city's monuments are a little off the wall, which makes them even more worth seeking out. The Runama Statue, a book written by Turk Menenstan's first president, is a cool piece of local culture. Other top tourist attractions include the Ark of Neutrality and the Monument of the Constitution. Turkmenistan is in the Karakum Desert, and the weather can be harsh, and there are many large expanses throughout the country. Ashgabat is an oasis in the desert and attracts people from all over Turkmenistan. Ashgabat's oasis feeling intensifies thanks to the white marble found across the city. It is one of a kind due to the white marble structures around town. Raja Ampat If you want pristine beaches and crystal clear water, then you won't want to miss Raja Ampat in Indonesia. The picturesque island is isolated, meaning you will have the chance to spend much of your holiday away from other tourists. You can explore Nemo, which is a cluster of karst islands that emerge from the sea. The clear waters around Raja Ampat are perfect for snorkeling. You'll see a diverse range of underwater life as you swim through the glorious waters. Raja Ampat's isolation means the local communities have been cut off from the throngs of tourists that visit Bali or Jakarta. You can see the local culture firsthand on an excursion around Raja Ampat. Homestays are available, which give you the chance to immerse yourself in the culture. And if you want to see Raja Ampat from a different angle, then book a boat trip to sail around the coast. Siargao we will not be wrong if we say that Siargao is the surfing capital of the Philippines. It is because Siargao is a place that has the best swells and waves. The island is also famous for having a relaxing ambiance, beautiful beaches, and amazing diving spots. It also offers a wide array of activities such as diving, swimming, and water sports. So yes, if you're a surfer, Siargao should be your dream destination. Siargao is also home to interesting wildlife like the dugong, marine turtles, saltwater crocodiles, and Philippine tarsier tarsius cyricta. It has a lot of tourist spots and interesting natural wonders. Some points of interest in this city are Daku Island, Naked Island, Magpup Pung Ko, Rock Pools, Sugba Lagoon and the famous Cloud, which is a world famous surfing spot. So make sure to visit this place in the Philippines. You'll love staying in for a long time. Pakhara. Pakhara is a fascinating place to visit for those seeking peace and tranquility. It's a weekend getaway situated in the foothills of the Himalayan range. The city is home to many lakes, which make it an ideal location for fishing, boating, and picnics. The best way to explore Pakhara is by hiring a bike or renting a scooter or car. If you ever visit Pakhara, you should explore Gondruk Village, Sarangat Poon Hill, and Pua Lake. These beautiful places are just a few of the many natural wonders that Pakhara has to offer. And observe the local lifestyle there, which is quite intriguing. Kasab. Kasab is a beautiful town in Oman that is surrounded by mountains. The town is charming and offers amazing views of the sea. Kasab is popular for its Dao cruises, and the sunset is absolutely stunning. 
The city also has a lot of souks selling traditional textiles and souvenirs. Whenever you visit this gorgeous city, never forget to explore Kassab Castle and Jebel Al Harem. You can also take a boat trip to Musandam Beach, where you can camp at night for a wonderful experience. Karon, a lovely beach town located in northern Palawan in the Philippines, it is a popular family vacation destination that also attracts many travelers seeking peace and tranquility because it's far removed from large cities and tourist attractions. Corone features white sand beaches, green paddy fields, lush jungle areas with waterfalls, cascading streams, and deep gorges. This town is also famous for World War II era wreck diving. The surrounding bays in Corone have shipwrecks from the Japanese fleet from World War II and provide an interesting location for diving. Some other places that are worth visiting in the town are Kayangan Lake, Mount Tapias, Twin Lagoon, Malkapuya Island, and Maquinet Hot Spring. The town life in Karan is also worth a visit. You can walk through the streets, meet with the locals, and do some shopping. It will be a day you'll never forget. Nuwara Elia. The majority of the buildings of Nuwara Elia with its frequently referred to as Little England, contains British colonial influences. Gregory Park, which offers boat excursions, pony rides, and bicycle paths, is one of the first things to do in Nuwara Elia. There are tea plantations all over the place, but if you can make it to the Pedro Tea Estate, you can learn everything there is to know about the cultivation of tea and finish the tour with a cup of Ceylon tea. Another lovely place is the Hak Gala Botanical Garden. The Sida Aman Kavil, which is close by and is associated with the Ramayana mythology, is where Sita is claimed to have come frequently to pay for her quick release after King Ravana. Ha Giang. Ha Giang is a breath of fresh air compared to the busy cities of Vietnam. You'll find forest covered mountains and lush greenery. There are mountain passes located in the Ha Giang province, including the Ma Pi Ling. If you fancy hiking through the area, you can experience the flora and fauna of the region. Trekking and hiking are popular activities in Ha Giang. Flag Tower provides views of the Vietnamese countryside, and you can see north to China. Culture vultures will have plenty of reasons to visit Ha Giang, as the area has several local ethnic groups that are distinct to it. Ha Giang isn't overrun with tourists. Tourists have only been visiting this area for a few years, which means the area is still authentic. El Nido. El Nido is a place you should visit at least once in your life. It's a small island town in the Philippines that is famous for its beautiful natural scenery. It's hard to believe that such a stunning place exists in this world. El Nido has white sand beaches, towering limestone cliffs, and lagoons with turquoise water. It's not surprising that it's become one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Philippines. El Nido is also home to some of the best diving spots in Southeast Asia. This island town offers plenty of opportunities for adventure seekers. Some interesting places to visit in this coastal town are Nakpan Beach, Hidden Beach, Big Lagoon, Small Lagoon, Snake Island, Secret Beach, and Bay Coot Bay Islands. Hunza. The Hunza Valley is one of the most spectacular places in Pakistan. The valley is surrounded by towering mountains. It's so peaceful and serene that it seems like a place from a fairy tale. There are lots of things to do in Hunza, and you can book a tour to get the best out of your trip. The valley has been developed as a tourist destination with hotels and resorts to cater to tourists from all over the world. But the real beauty in this valley is the glaciers and its lakes that are surrounded by the high rocky mountains. Adabad Lake, Altit Fort, Borith Lake, and Batura Glacier are some of the most spectacular tourist spots in Hunza Valley. When in Hunza, you also don't want to miss Husani Hanging Bridge, stretching over 660 feet over the fast-flowing Hunza River, this wooden Hassani Hanging Bridge is known to be the most dangerous and thrilling bridge in the whole world. Kathmandu. 
The capital of Nepal is home to the Kathmandu Durbar Square, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's the largest metropolis in Nepal and is definitely worth a visit. There are many religious monuments, temples, and sacred sites that tourists can visit when they visit Kathmandu. You'll experience a different culture and get to see some of the most beautiful architecture on Earth. The most popular tourist spots in Kathmandu are Swayam Bunath Temple, the Baudhanath Stupa, the Pasha Patinath Temple, the Kumari Temple, the Nagarjun Forest Reserve, and the Royal Nepalese Museum. And if you're a tourist and looking to see some of the most amazing sacred spots in Nepal, then Kathmandu is where you need to go. Samarkand Samarkand has incredible Islamic architecture with beautiful mosques topped with turquoise domes. The city is the pearl of the Eastern Muslim world, thanks to the architecture that dots it. The architecture is certainly one reason to visit Samarkand, and you can snap fantastic photos for your social media or blog while wandering around. You'll likely stay around University Boulevard. Most of the city's main accommodations are along that street. You'll also find schools, universities, and other educational centers on University Boulevard. The Gur e Amir Mausoleum, Tomb of the King, is a must-see tourist site, with its turquoise dome and beautiful blue and white tiles on the outside. The Registan is the central square in Samarkand. The most significant roads in Samarkand lead to the Registan. It is the site for celebrations, royal announcements, and more. It's also a wonderful place to sit and meditate on your trip to Uzbekistan. Korong Known as one of the most wonderful spots in Cambodia, those seeking a thrill ride will absolutely love the island paradise of Koh Rong. It has a number of beaches, including Koh Tok Beach. It is among the most popular tourist attractions in Cambodia. A variety of activities on these beautiful beaches make Koh Rong one of the most exciting places to visit in Cambodia. Snorkeling here will allow you to see diamond fish, sea turtles, sergeant fish, parrot fish, jumping fish, diamond fish, blue spotted ribbon, tail rays, and cuttlefish. Oh, and you can go diving or kayaking, especially if you relish exceptional water sports. Visit the Rope Adventure Park where you can go zip line. There are plenty of scuba diving activities for fitness enthusiasts. Thimphu. Thimphu, formerly Thimbu, the country's capital, is unquestionably one of the first places to visit in Bhutan. This city, located in the country's western central region and on the banks of the gushing Radak River, is studded with beautiful scenery and mountain peaks that reach 2,000 to 3,800 meters. Tempu is the city that magnificently displays Bhutan's indigenous cultures and traditions, and also claims to be the Happy Kingdom's commercial center. This great city and the official residence of Bhutan's royal family has an amazing array of luxury stay options, tourist destinations, and other modern amenities. The vibrant Tempu Festival is held at Tempu Tashisho Zong's Tendril Fang. The Textile Museum Buddha Dor Denma National Memorial Chorten Chang Gang Ka Lakhang and the crowded, colorful Centennial Farmer's Market are among the other attractions in Tempu. Manila Manila is an amazing tourist destination. The first thing that you'll notice when you arrive is the architecture. It's a mix of different styles and influences from all over the world, like Spanish colonial buildings, modern skyscrapers, and traditional Filipino homes. The first thing that you'll notice is the people. Filipinos are some of the friendliest people in the world, and they love to show off their culture to visitors. You can find street vendors selling food and music playing on radios, and everywhere you look, there'll be beautiful examples of Filipino culture. Let us guide you to some of the city's famous tourist spots. You should explore Fort Santiago, Manila Ocean Park, Robinson's Place Mall, San Agustin Church, and the various museums that make this city so appealing. Taipei The capital city of Taiwan and the seat of government is a beautiful city known as Taipei. Taipei has a rich culture and has been developing rapidly, 
which is why it attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists every year. Taipei's food culture is worth exploring with its many street food stalls that offer delicious Taiwanese dishes like beef noodles, marinated pork rice, and stinky tofu. So if you're a foodie, this city is a must-visit place for you. Taipei is also famous for its amazing architecture. There are many cultural landmarks in Taipei that include the National Palace Museum, Xiang Kai-shek, Memorial Hall, National Theater Hall, Miniatures Museum of Taiwan, and Bao An Temple. No matter where you go, you will witness iconic buildings and landmarks in this majestic city. Dhaka, one of the world's most populated capitals with 22 million people. And guess what? Visiting different places in Dhaka is a lot of fun. Just know that you can either love it or despise it, but once you leave, you'll never forget it. Dhaka is Bangladesh's capital and a city of contrast. There aren't many cities in the world that are as vibrant and diverse as Dhaka. On the one side of the city, you'll find narrow streets and old buildings rubbing shoulders. Boulevards with sophisticated multi-story buildings can be found in other parts of this city. You will hear the prayers from the mosque and the sweet sounds made by the worshippers' tongues from the temples. Despite all of these odds, one thing remains constant, people's smiles. One should definitely not miss out on the experience of this mystical and marvelous city. Shimla. When the country was governed by the British, Shimla, the capital of Himachal Pradesh in India, was referred to as the summer capital. Start your tour from the Ridge, a beautiful promenade along Mall Road with a wide selection of restaurants, stores, and cafes. Be sure to check out the remarkable neo-Gothic architecture of the 17th century Christ Church, as well as its other highlights, including its stunning stained glass windows, its clock tower, and historic frescoes. After that, you can trek up to Jakhu Hill for beautiful views of Shimla and the Himalayas. Jakhu Temple, which includes a sizable statue of Hanuman, is also located there. Summer Hill is another location where you may take in some panoramic views. Visit Khufri, which is referred to as the Winter Sports Center of India, and offers activities like skiing, ice skating, and snowboarding, if you're feeling a little bit adventurous. Yogyakarta. Backpackers have made Yogyakarta a top destination in recent years. The town is situated on the island of Java and tourists visit it for its culture, religious monuments, and its natural scenery. The most popular place to visit is Bora Budur Temple. The religious landmark was constructed in the 9th century. You can ascend the temple and enjoy views across the city. Chicken Church is another popular tourist destination in Yogyakarta. The church is shaped like a chicken. Due to their proximity, you can explore Boro Budar and Chicken Church within minutes of each other. Prambanan Temple is also popular with travelers. The Hindu Temple was built in the 9th century and is one of Indonesia's largest religious sites. Tamam Sari, also known as the Water Palace, is a relaxing location for reflection. Yogyakarta is perfect for travelers who want to see Indonesia's best temples and religious sites. Alan Batar. The capital of Mongolia has a population of over 1.45 million people. It has been transformed into a tourist destination in the past decade or so. The city has been growing rapidly and transformed into a boom town in recent years, thanks to its rapid economic growth. The city is famous for its natural beauty and contrast between the traditional Mongolian lifestyle and modern life. Much of the attraction here is the purely unique culture of Mongolia, which you can't see anywhere else in the world. Some places to visit in this city are the Gorky Terelj National Park, Hastai National Park, National History Museum, and the Genghis Khan Statue Complex. This city is a perfect place to visit for cultural excursions and more. You'll find it difficult to leave these once-in-a-lifetime experiences. Nam Pen, a major foreign and domestic tourist destination in Cambodia, the city was founded in 1372 and is best known for its classical architecture and attractions. Nam Pen is the most populated capital of French-colonized Cambodia and is known as the Pearl of Asia. 
This city is said to be Asia's most beautiful French-built city. Travelers can already envision what surprises await them in this city known for its beauty. Phnom Penh is Cambodia's heartbeat, full of color and constant bustling. This sprawling capital dispersed out alongside the Tonla Sap and Mekong rivers is a city of wide central boulevards and skinny back alleys where modern and old meet. One of the best places to visit in Phnom Penh is the Royal Palace and the Silver Pagoda. The throne room in the palace is open to the public for visits and is beautifully made. It's a joy to discover. Bodrum Located in the southwestern part of Turkey, you can find it near the Gulf of Gokava, and it has over 136,000 inhabitants. The city was first founded by the Dorian Greeks, after which it was ruled by the Archimenide Empire. There are plenty of fun things to do and see in Bodrum, so you definitely won't be bored during your trip there. You could have an amazing afternoon by just visiting the center. There are a lot of fun stores here where you can go shopping for clothes, souvenirs, or Turkish delight. Since Bodrum is a port city, you can also visit the port and wander along the coast or visit the beach, for example. Another fun thing to do here is to try some water sport. Vientiane Feast your eyes on this 13th century city, which still retains most of its wooden structures. Now it's been a little modernized. You'll find colonial buildings next to prehistoric structures, Gawkworthy museums filled with artifacts that are hundreds, if not thousands of years old, and more. Vientiane is the Lao People's Democratic Republic's largest city, as well as its capital. Most of the city can be explored on foot, via bicycle, or if you prefer, sitting back in a tuk-tuk. So take a ride or stroll next to the sprawling Mekong River. You'll especially want to go there for the markets. Be sure to stop by the open-air sculpture Buddha Park, the Patak Sai Victory Gate for a first. When the night falls, watch the city transform into a beaming, pumping heart, Cameron Highlands. Ever get the feeling that you want to abandon all worldly possessions and live somewhere with lush greenery? The image that popped into your head probably is an exact replica of the Cameron Highlands. A twisting road, one that's surrounded by rolling hills and lush forests, will take you out to Kuala Lumpur and to the Cameron Highlands. Here you'll think it's definitely a heaven on earth. The Cameron Highlands have drawn many tourists throughout the ages. The rolling hills were reminiscent of rural England with a more ideal temperature. Feel your soul heal in this clean air and your soul satisfied at one of the following. If you're going to the Cameron Highlands, the Bow Tea Plantation is a must, must, must. Emphasis on the must. It may only pale to one of the city's strawberry farms. Tours allow for tasting sessions that are unforgettable. Jaipur, referred to as the pink city of India because of the pinkish hue that many of its historic buildings have. It's important to visit the city palace, which was constructed by the Rajput King Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II and features magnificent royal buildings, charming courtyards, and beautiful gardens that the royal family formerly enjoyed. The Hawa Mahal is considered to be something out of a fairy tale because of its distinctive honeycomb pattern, pinkish color, and Indo-Islamic architecture with lattice windows. Don't forget to see the Jantar Mantar, an astronomical observatory with abstract sculptures used by King Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II. It has the Samrat Yantra sundial, which at 27 meters tall casts a huge shadow that precisely calculates the time to the nearest two seconds. Luang Prabang Don't leave Laos just yet, at least not without stopping by Luang Prabang. This is one for the legend books. The creation of the city is shrouded in legend, one of which predicted it's said to be a rich, powerful city one day. Here is that day. Luang Prabang is in northern Laos. That's exceptional because it means it's tucked right into a mountainous region. The Phaot Hao and Pao Nang mountains are to die for. Plus, it's literally also built on a peninsula made by the Mekong and Nam Can rivers. You won't find yourself strapped for sprawling, beautiful views and lush greenery. 
Be sure to stop and smell the roses. The city is dripping in a mixture of traditional architecture and 19th and 20th century colonial style buildings. Popular attractions include any of the 33 Buddhist temples, but Wat Waisa Narat and Wat Long Kun in particular are must visits. Lombok, known as Bali's sister island, yet many travelers believe Lombok outshines the more famous tropical paradise. Lombok is less traveled than Bali. You will find an assortment of restaurants and resorts in Lombok. You can explore the traditional villages of Lombok to learn about the local culture and customs. In addition to local beauty and fewer people, the island offers lower prices than other Indonesian islands. It's common for tourists to rent a bicycle to pedal around the island. You can ride to many of the sites and you don't need a car. One of the top tourist attractions on Lombok is Mount Rinjani, the second tallest volcano on the island. You can ascend the volcano for incredible views of the island. Located at the bottom of Mount Renjani is Sagara Anak Lake. It's a breathtaking experience. Petra. The opening theme of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade probably just played in your head as soon as you laid eyes on Petra. Jordan's iconic sights. It's true that the movie's Holy Grail was filmed here. There's more to Petra than Hollywood, though. You're looking at a city that's half carved out of rock. On all sides, it's pressured by vibrantly colored mountains, passages, and gorges. And once upon a time, the Nabatean Empire, between 400 BC and AD 106, called this its home and capital. So how can you navigate this nearly long lost city? Start with the open Bab El Sikh Road. The Sip once stood as the city's ancient entrance. Even as you pass by, you'll see carved monuments that'll stop you in your tracks. Follow the famous treasury by the Street of Facades and its arsenal of monuments and tombs. Astana. If you're looking for a truly unique travel destination, then Astana, the capital city of Kazakhstan, should be the top of your list. There are plenty of things to see and do. The capital city is home to a variety of museums, monuments, and parks. This relatively young city, it was only founded in 1830, has already undergone a transformation. The skyline is dotted with gleaming new skyscrapers and the streets are lined with leafy parks and gardens. However, Astana still retains its Kazakh identity with traditional wooden houses and yurts dotting the cityscape. Visitors can explore the city's rich history at museums such as the National Museum of Kazakhstan and the Hazrat Sultan Mosque or they can enjoy the great outdoors at one of Astana's many parks, such as the Atamekan Ethno Memorial Complex or Bay Tarek Tower. No matter what your interests are, Astana has something for you. Dushan Bay. Dushan Bay is without a doubt one of the most beautiful cities in Tajikistan. On the south of the Gisser Range and on top of the Gisser Valley, Dushan Bay offers cool air during summer and fresh snowfall in winter. The city has a lot to offer to different kinds of tourists, museums and cultural events, outdoor activities and sites to explore. Not only because it's beautiful to look at, but also because it has many nice places where you can enjoy your time in peace and quiet. Dushan Bay has both, very old and new buildings that are scattered throughout the city. Some worth visiting places are Rudaki Park, Pamir Highway, the statue of Ismoil Simoni, the National Museum and Library of Tajikistan, and the Wall of the Great Tajik Writers. So whether you're a cultural tourist or someone looking for a fresh start, Dushan Bay is the place to go. Malacca. Malacca has a few tricks up its sleeve. It looks like a city, but it feels like a warm, cozy, small town. East Malacca in particular is renowned for being easy to travel by foot. The Jonker Walk is a highlight and prime example of while you'll want to keep your feet on the ground and not miss a second. The Jonker Walk's night market is always pulsating with live music and endless stalls. It's known for its party-like ambiance and its vibrant colors. Take a breath for the music and enjoy a drink in one of the city's infamous cafes on its five-foot walkways. When the call of the curious tourist beckons again, Head out to the Afamosa Fortress. 
built by in 1511 and for a seriously Instagrammable site, the Stad Thighs and its brilliant terracotta crimson building. Islamabad, an exceptional city with a well-planned metropolis and various notable landmarks, is the beautiful capital of Pakistan known as Islamabad. With the backdrop of Margala Hills, Islamabad is famous for its calm, clean, and green environment. It's the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of other metropolises around the world. Because in Islamabad, you can explore the wilderness and its surroundings through the six well-defined trails of Margala Hills. And if you want to enjoy the panoramic view of the whole city, head over to the Daman e Co viewpoint. It is the most famous tourist spot in Islamabad. The city's other prominent landmarks include Faisal Mosque, Pakistan Monument, National Art Gallery, and Loch Versa Museum. You can also visit Sedpur Village, which is a historical place in the city's neighborhood. Ankara, the capital city of Turkey, and it's even the second most populated city. The city has a whopping population of 5.1 million people. You can find this city on the banks of the Nguri Su. Although you can find a lot of old castles and ruins in this city, some of which are even still from the Roman, Ottoman, and Byzantine age. The city has become a modern European metropolis throughout the years. And when you visit Ankara, one of the places you must visit is Genklik Park. This park is the oldest park in the city and it's absolutely stunning. Another amazing place you should visit is Ankara Castle. You can wander here for hours and look at this old castle that's still standing. If you love nature, you should pay a visit to Amer Lake as well. You can even have a picnic here if you want to. Malé. The city of Malé is the tourism capital of the Maldives and is famous for its beautiful beaches, scenic parks, and beautiful heritage museums. Malé City is also the gateway to many other islands of the country and makes a perfect base for exploring them. The city is home to the National Museum of the Maldives, which showcases the history and culture of this country. The city also has a beautiful garden, popularly known as Sultan's Park. Some popular tourist attractions in the city include the North Malé Atoll, Atoll Transfer, the Hukuru Mizkai, and the Grand Friday Mosque. Baguio, a remarkable place to visit because of its unique features, this city has an urbanized environment with modern buildings and malls. But at the same time, it has tropical pine forests and a cool climate. This makes it a perfect place for people who want to escape from the heat of Manila or other cities in this country. It is a place where you can enjoy the beauty of nature and have fresh mountain air. When you're in Baguio, there are some places you should never miss visiting. There are Mines, View Park, Valley of Colors, Burnham Park, Botanical Garden, and Strawberry Farms. These places will show you the real beauty this city holds. Yaravan, the capital of Armenia, often referred to as the Pink City, is a vibrant, cosmopolitan, and charmingly old world city that's perfect for a relaxing vacation. With vibrant markets and cafes, bustling squares, and beautiful architecture, Yerevan is an easy place to fall in love with. It's also a great starting point for exploring the surrounding countryside. There are amazing hikes in this area, including Mount Hates, Mount Ara, and the waterfalls of Kaz Rav Reserve. There are also plenty of historical sites to visit, from ruins to monuments to cathedrals. With so much to do and see in close proximity, you'd be hard-pressed to find a reason not to visit Yerevan. If you've ever visited this remarkable city, make sure to visit Café Gian Center for the Arts in Republic Square. These are two of the most common tourist spots of Yerevan and for the right reasons. Beirut. One of the most delectable scents that will reach you is the waft of Manakish, the famous hot bread served with za'atar or cheese. You've got your first taste of the city. Warning, the rest is just as addictive. And if you're looking for one of those calm, contemplative cities, Beirut is not your destination. But if you want a city that's brimming with life, with nightlife, with fashion, a city that's the definition of a city that never sleeps, then Beirut in Lebanon should be your next stop. 
With a combination of eastern and western qualities, Beirut is the best of both worlds. It has museums, restaurants, its natural views such as Mount Lebanon Range, amazing temples such as the Temple of Bacchus and Jupiter, and waterfront views, and it even has ancient Roman ruins. Izmir In the western part of Turkey, you can find the city of Izmir. This city has a population of more than 4 million inhabitants and is the third most populated city in Turkey. Izmir has become the city it is today thanks to the fact that it was used mainly as a port, like so many other great cities in Turkey. When you get to Izmir, there are plenty of fun activities you can do or highlights you can visit. One of the most impressive features of this city is the Izmir Clock Tower, or Sat Kulesi in Turkish. This tower was built to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Abdul Hamad II's ascension to the throne. Another highlight you should visit is the Kemeralti Market, which is a lot of fun. You can also go to the Izmir Wildlife Park if you're looking for a fun day out. Jakarta, a vibrant city featuring beaches, busy streets, and buildings that rise to the sky. The Indonesian city is multicultural with people from around the world calling it home. The multicultural aspect of Jakarta means it's a melting pot of cuisine. Street food is a must in Jakarta. As you can sample recipes from all over Asia, keeping it budget friendly for travel. Satay and Nasai Goreng are two local favorites you simply have to try. Bali is ideal for anyone looking for a tropical paradise each holiday. However, Jakarta is perfect for travelers looking for that city escape. It's a concrete jungle with an endless number of restaurants, bars, and cafes to hop from. You'll find plenty of local culture and architecture dating back to colonial times. You can explore even more local history at the many museums around this city. Kyoto one of the oldest municipalities in Japan and has grown to be one of its biggest cities as well. The city is home to 1.46 million people, with an estimated 3.8 million people living in the area called Greater Kyoto. When you get to Kyoto, it can be hard to choose how to spend your time, as there's so much to do and see here. The city is called the cultural capital of Japan, as well as some of its best highlights are even on the World Heritage Site list from UNESCO. One of the best places to visit in Kyoto is the Fushimi Anari Taishi Temple area. You can look at and walk through the gorgeous red arches which lead to a temple. Another fun area to visit is the geisha district called Gion. It's a very old neighborhood with all kinds of traditional Japanese buildings and tea houses. If you love nature, visit the golden pavilion called Kinkakuji. This is an old temple next to a lake, and the scenery is simply stunning. Almaty, the largest city in Kazakhstan and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Central Asia. The city is located in the southeastern part of the country at the base of the Tian Shan Mountains. Almaty is a vibrant cosmopolitan city with a rich history and culture and is known for its leafy parks, outdoor cafes, and vibrant nightlife. The city's museums and galleries offer a glimpse into Kazakh history and various aspects of Kazakh life. For those interested in outdoor activities, Almaty offers opportunities for hiking, climbing, skiing, and horseback riding. The scenic mountain backdrop provides a beautiful setting for these activities. In addition, Almaty is home to many restaurants and cafes, offering a variety of cuisines to suit every taste. Whether you're interested in exploring Kazakh history and culture or enjoying the outdoors, Almaty is something to offer everyone. Doha Picture the fascinating city of Dubai. Now picture a miniature version of it. This is exactly what Doha is. Known as Mini Dubai, Doha is a city in Qatar located on the east coast of the Persian Gulf. It's the perfect place if you're looking for a desert adventure. The city is surrounded by sand and has a beautiful Cornish. There are many great things to do in this city, from visiting museums and parks to going on a safari. You can visit the Sok Wakif, a traditional market that sells textiles, spices, and souvenirs. You can also visit Barzan Towers, Katara Cultural Village, National Museum, Sea Line Beach Resort, or the Pearl Qatar, which is a beautiful artificial island. No matter where you go, you will enjoy your stay in this great city. We're sure of it. Jeju Island, 
popular location for a summer holiday, Jeju Island attracts South Korean and international visitors from around the globe. Boasting a diverse landscape of volcanic craters, rocky mountains, distinct beaches, and emerald green waters, Jeju Island's varied terrain provides a unique experience from one location to the next. For example, Genmuing Beach is great for visitors interested in camping, seeing grassy dunes, or wiggling their toes in the golden sand. For an outdoor adventure, tourists can explore South Korea's highest peak, Halasan. This dormant volcanic mountain is 1,950 meters high and takes an average of seven and a half hour hike to traverse, a strenuous uphill climb that is not for the ill-prepared. As Jeju Island is located by the sea, seafood dishes can be found in abundance at restaurants and sold by street vendors. Try the prized galchi fish, rarely seen outside of Colombo. Sri Lanka's commercial metropolis combines urbanization with the country's sophisticated history and culture. The Lotus Tower, the tallest freestanding building in South Asia at 368 meters, provides panoramic views of Colombo and its surrounding waters. Jami ul Alfa is one of the oldest mosques with impressive grandeur and colors resembling a candy cane. And don't miss the National Museum, which showcases Sri Lanka's natural history and centuries-old legacy. Visit the Sima Malakaya Temple, which is surrounded by numerous bronze Buddha sculptures that are attractively mirrored in the waters of stunning Vera Lake. Gal Face Green, a busy beachside promenade where you may relax and enjoy a delectable Iso Wade bought from a street vendor, is the perfect place to unwind after a long day. Fifi Islands. You may have seen the Fifi Islands before. They were featured in the film The Beach, featuring Leonardo DiCaprio. The islands are gorgeous with breathtaking beaches and beautiful bays. If it's a tropical paradise you want, then the Fifi Islands are the place to go. The beaches on the Fifi Islands are synonymous with Thailand. You will find soft brown sand and crystal clear water lapping onto them. You'll find little beer bars and restaurants around these fantastic sandy shores for complete relaxation. The natural setting is incredible, with forests, mountains, and of course, beaches. Snorkeling and scuba diving are popular around the island, thanks to the gorgeous water and clear water. The marine life is diverse, and you can swim among the underwater sea life. The sunny, warm climate of the Fifi Islands means you'll spend your holiday in glorious weather outdoors. Abu Dhabi, the perfect destination for anyone who's looking for a vibrant city with a desert landscape. This city has a lot of interesting places to visit, and the deserts surrounding it are completely stunning. It's an exotic combination. A popular place here is the Emirates Palace Hotel, which is one of the most luxurious and expensive hotels in the world. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is also a popular tourist spot. It's one of the largest mosques in the world and can take in more than 40,000 people for prayer at one time. Another marvel in this city is Abu Dhabi Cornish. It is a waterfront promenade that runs along Abu Dhabi's northwestern coast, and it has beautiful views of sand dunes on one side and the Arabian Gulf on the other side. Bukhara. Bukhara was a destination on the Silk Road, which connected Europa and Asia. The city was a point on the trail in which weary travelers and traders stopped off to stay over or sell their goods. And due to the different people that passed through Bukhara, the city developed over the centuries with various cultures. Today, Bukhara is one of the highlights of a trip to Uzbekistan. The city's sacred religious sites may not be as grand as other places, but their humbleness makes them even more splendid. Bukhara is an oasis and legend says Job performed a miracle by bringing water out of the sandy desert beneath it. The Spring of Job Mausoleum is a place of worship many Uzbeki people visit. Bukhara is packed with UNESCO World Heritage Sites, but those aren't the only reason to explore this city. The cuisine is unique to Uzbekistan, and it is influenced by the local Jewish community, which has been in the area for more than 3,000 years. Hoi An Hoi An's Old Town is a UNESCO World Heritage listed destination. There's a lot to see and do in Hoi An's old town, but simply walking its streets and taking in the views may be the best activity of all. Hoi An has more than 800 buildings listed by UNESCO. You'll feel transported back in time while wandering the old town. 
Hoi An wasn't destroyed during the Vietnam War, so many of its ancient buildings and monuments are still intact. Since it wasn't bombed during the war, the city feels completely different from nearly every other place in this country. Travelers looking for a souvenir to take home will find a variety of handmade crafts sold at stalls or shops. Hoi An is the center of locally made handicrafts in Vietnam. The city's museum is the ideal place to visit to learn more about Hoi An's ancient history. Xi'an Located in northwestern China, Xi'an was previously known as China's capital city. 13 million people occupy this massive metropolis, which has become one of China's most popular tourist destinations. Terracotta Army is a famous UNESCO World Heritage Site that can be found within Xi'an. Of course, with Xi'an's long and rich history, there are many other historical sites to discover. Tombs, temples, monuments, museums, and even hot springs are located throughout Xi'an. Thankfully, navigating the city is easy, as many places including Xu Yuan Men, a metro rail service, and the Xi'an's Xi'ang International Airport are also accessible and provide easy transportation. Due to the large Muslim population in Xi'an, you will find many traditional Uyghur dishes to try. Rujiamo mutton soup, pomegranate juice, and Biang Biang noodles are also common cuisines in Xi'an and can be found at many local restaurants. Manali Manali will impress you whether you're traveling alone or with friends on an adventurous trip. The first place you can go is the Hadimba Devi Temple built in the 14th century in honoring Bhima's wife Hadimba Devi. If you enjoy hiking, the Jogini Falls Trek will take you to a lovely waterfall and provide you with stunning scenery along the way. Another exciting location is the Solang Valley, which offers breathtaking vistas of the Himalayas as well as paragliding and rock climbing in the summer and skiing and snowboarding in the winter. Don't forget to go to Old Manali, where you can see how life was in the area before it became a well-liked Indian tourist destination. Da Nang Da Nang is the ideal beach destination for travelers in Vietnam. The dry season occurs from May to September and travelers are treated to some of the best weather in the country. Da Nang is perfect for travelers seeking an outdoor adventure. There are beaches, forests, and mountains all around it. Marble Mountain and Monkey Mountain are the two most famous peaks around Da Nang. The two mountains are a paradise for hikers and trekkers. You'll also find 10 beaches along an incredible 10-kilometer or 6-mile coastline. All 10 beaches are glorious white sand spots along the shore. Snorkeling around the Cham Islands is a must-do, and the eight small islands can be reached by boat. There are just 50 kilometers away from Da Nang. Foodies will find plenty of local cuisine in various restaurants in this city. Food favorites include Mekong and Ban Mi Hoi An. Georgetown. A heavenly getaway at the home of Malaysia's largest Buddhist temple, Kek Lok Si. Welcome to Georgetown. The first thing you'll notice is the postcard worthy and eclectic street art that's everywhere in this city. The old town boasts hundreds of murals. Georgetown is a hub for art, culture, and if Instagram has already shown you a sneak peek, some of the continent's best street food. Follow the trail of murals and into the rest of what Georgetown has to offer. One place you're not going to want to miss out on is Chiang Fat, a 19th century Chinese style mansion. Talk about picturesque. The cakes of China House are to die for next. Step away from the urban jungle and into the actual jungle and to Penang National Park. Georgetown happens to be tucked under Penang Hill, part of the island's tropical rainforest. Baku, a modern city located on the Ashburan Peninsula in Azerbaijan. It is a popular tourist destination and has plenty to offer, including beaches, parks, museums, and more. It's also a great destination for those who want to experience the culture of Azerbaijan. This city has a population of over 2 million people, and it's one of the largest cities in all of Europe. There are many places to visit in Baku, including its Haydar Aliyev Cultural Center, which has a lot of history and culture for tourists to explore. There's also many different museums and art galleries that visitors can enjoy, including the Ashtashga Maiden Tower, the Azerbaijan National Carpet Museum. 
Hanoi, a foodie paradise with local cuisine that uses different flavors than other parts of Vietnam. In addition to delicious food, Hanoi has a distinct coffee culture. You don't need to mess with major chains for your cup of coffee. You can enjoy a cup of incredible locally made coffee from a Hanoi cafe while watching the locals pass by. Culture vultures have plenty of museums to pick from. You'll find museums ranging from art and local history to the Vietnam War. The war museums are well worth your time, and they should be explored to learn about the different aspects of that conflict. After visiting the powerful museums, reflect on life at one of the many pagodas or temples. Hanoi has plenty of great temples dedicated to the Buddha. The architecture is fantastic and will leave you speechless. Muscat Sitting on the Gulf of Oman coast, Muscat is the commercial capital as well as the cultural capital of Oman. Muscat is surrounded by mountains and has beautiful cornishes, for example, Mutra Cornish. Muscat offers fascinating architecture. There's a lot of beautiful mosques to visit in Muscat to explore the culture and architecture, for example, the Grand Mosque. The city has a lot of beautiful places to visit, and you can also do some authentic trekking in the desert. Wadi Bani Khalad is also one of the places that should not be missed while in Muscat. Lang Kauai. This isn't your average city in Malaysia. It's a cool city. No, but really, Lang Kauai is unique because it once acted as a haven for pirates. Today, the remnants of their presence are only in the crystal clear waters and the white sand beaches. Technically, Lang Kauai is not known for being a private haven. Its official nickname is that it's the Jewel of Kedah. Everyone acknowledges that it's home to some of Malaysia, nay, some of the world's best beast and rainforest. The city boasts the 410-foot sky bridge on top of Mount Mashinchang, a mountain, by the way, that also boasts the 298-foot Telaga Tuja, or Seven Wells Waterfalls. The urban features themselves don't disappoint, the first glimpse of which you may get from the restaurants and bars along Pan Tai Sinang Beach. Beijing The ancient city of Beijing, China dates back over 3,000 years and contains one of China's most famous historical sites, the Great Wall. At 21,196 kilometers long, the Great Wall has been labeled one of the seven wonders of the world making it a must-see on your visit to Beijing, China. A close second is the Forbidden City, built during the Ming and Qing Dynasty over 600 years ago. This gigantic ancient imperial palace contains an extensive museum, which sees approximately 14 million visitors per year. Close to the Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square can also be found. This 100-acre square is commonly added to visitors' itineraries due to its historical significance and proximity to the city center. After a long day of walking through the many historical sites, it's still time for some local Beijing cuisine. Many visitors honor this occasion with a succulent Beijing roast duck or traditional Zai pork dumplings. Agra, along with Delhi and Jaipur, forms the Golden Triangle of India so no journey to India is complete unless you visit this lovely city. It is the location of the famous Taj Mahal, which was built as a memorial to Mumtaz Mahal, the wife of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. And if you want to admire the Taj Mahal's grandeur, go to the Moonlight Garden, also known as the Matab Bagh. Visit the Agra Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site constructed of red sandstone that gives it a stunning look. Itamad Ud Tomb, Duala's located on the banks of the Yamuna River, was the first monument to apply Petra Dura, an Indian carving technique that uses semi-precious stones to create ornamental floral patterns in marble. Chiang Mai Bangkok is Thailand's most modern city, and if you want to explore the past and see the traditions of Thailand, Chiang Mai is the place to visit. The city is culturally rich with many buildings and temples from the past. Of course, you'll find new restaurants, malls, and shops, but most visitors travel to Chiang Mai for its relaxing vibe. Chiang Mai is home to more than 300 temples. 
The temples are situated around the city, and Chiang Mai has a strong Buddhist history. You can walk across the city during the day to explore many of its temples. Travelers sometimes skip Bangkok for Chiang Mai due to the price of accommodation and food being lower. It's a perfect destination for travelers on a budget. You'll experience a warm, mostly sunny climate with gorgeous green spaces to enjoy. Bandar Seri Bhagawan The capital of Brunei, most of Brunei's major attractions are situated here. Bandar Seri Bhagawan is exceptional because of the way the modern city blends with the thriving rainforest. The city has more green space than any other Southeast Asian capital. It is common to see tropical animals in the city center paved sidewalks. And guess what? Within 10 minutes, you can travel from a downtown cafe to sitting on a boat, totally immersed in a mangrove forest. Bandar Seri Bhagawan has a long and distinguished history. For centuries, this area included Kota Batu and Kampong Ayer, which served as the seat of the Bruneian Empire. The grand and naturally beautiful mosques are one of the first few things you'll notice when walking around Bandar Seri Bhagawan. Phu Kwok Phu Kwok isn't the most well-worn travel destination in Asia. Its lack of tourism means the city is still cheap to reach. Travelers on a budget can live well within their means while staying in Phu Kwok. Since there isn't a large number of tourists visiting Phu Kwok, you'll have plenty of space to stretch out. The beaches are ideal for travelers seeking an escape from centers of mass tourism. Along with a lack of tourists, Phu Quoc doesn't experience a lot of traffic. You won't struggle to get around or spend all your time in taxis trying to reach that beach. Bai Sao Beach is the most popular spot to spend the day for beachgoers. However, Phu Quoc has plenty of secluded spots for spending time with friends or family. Amman. Petra is a lesson in gorgeous history, but Amman, Jordan, the city of the seven hills, is hailed as the amalgam of multiple civilizations. It's a city constantly in motion. At the forefront of its attractive features are its famously friendly people and its range of restaurants and street stalls capable of appeasing any foodie. Even though Amman is always developing itself, there are some staples that will always draw tourists. Venture deeper and cast your eye as far as you can see. The city has a theme, beautiful monochromatic buildings. The best view? It's from the top of the hill at the Citadel. You'll definitely want to check out the Temple of Hercules, the Citadel's focal point. Why? An ancient Hercules statue is believed to have once stood there. Only three of its fingers remain, desperately and stubbornly climbing the hill. All right, odds. Previously known as Hajar al Yamama Rajad is the capital of Saudi Arabia. The city has some beautiful desert views that can be seen from high up on buildings or when you visit one of the many parks in Riyadh where you can enjoy them from ground level. The city also has amazing museums that offer a glimpse into the rich culture of the region. And that's not all. Riyadh is built with modern infrastructure, making it a cosmopolitan hub with a variety of cultural and commercial activities. In addition to the cultural places in Riyadh, visitors will also enjoy the Maud side of the city. There are also many tourist activities available in this region. You can experience great desert safari and even visit the famous Al Mas Mac Fort for a traditional experience. Then there is King Abdulaziz Historical Center and Maraba Palace. Busan. South Korea's second most populous city, Busan is known for its sandy beaches, religious sites, and accessible mountaintops. Outdoor activities are available in abundance, with the most popular activities including walking tours, hiking trails, surf lessons, paragliding, and paddleboarding. Of course, if you're interested in South Korean history, Heidong Yanggung Sa Temple is a famous site to explore. Having originally been built in 1376 and then rebuilt again in the 1930s, this temple allows a glimpse into Busan's rich history. For shopping, Gukje Market is a great place to visit. Clothing, shoes, umbrellas, meats, fruits, vegetables, and other goods can all be found in this outdoor marketplace. For Busan's cuisine, Dweji Gukbap 
or pork soup is a popular dish. Served in a cast iron pot with a rich bone broth and topped with green onions, Milmeon is also famously consumed in Busan, which consists of a wheat-based noodle typically served in a cold chicken or beef broth. Ho Chi Minh If there is one place in Vietnam to visit, it's Ho Chi Minh. The city is chaotic with people, cars, motorbikes, and much more, making a din of noise throughout this day. Yet there is something charming in the chaos that engulfs this city. There are more than 8 million people living in Ho Chi Minh. Incredibly, the city has over 7 million motorbikes. Ho Chi Minh is vibrant and full of life. You can get almost anything you need in the city with its bustling markets and shops. And if you need a break from city life, you can visit the Mekong Delta, which is only a few hours away from Ho Chi Minh. The river snakes through the Vietnamese countryside, and spending some time around it is a perfect escape. There are several museums dedicated to the Vietnam War that are a must. The War Remnants Museum and the Ku Chi Tunnels Museums will give you an insight into the war like never before. Manama This Gulf Pearl has a vibrant history, a luminous present, and a promising future. Manama is one of a kind city that is well worth a visit. Tourism is diverse because it combines ancient civilizations with modern tourism activities. And that is why Manama is one of the best. Bahrain Sites, reflecting a magnificent blend of traditional and modern design. Manama's skyline is dotted with gleaming skyscrapers and other architectural elements that reflect the beauty of its artistic abilities. The most notable features of Manama's skyline are a pair of 240-meter-high twin towers, as well as the Bahrain World Trade Center. The genuine Islamic architecture, supermarket chains, and an old market have everything from expensive jewelry to souvenirs to exotic spices and local dates. Not to miss the delicious Middle Eastern cuisine makes this city an ideal location for a heartfelt vacation. Delhi The capital of India is divided into two sections, Old Delhi and New Delhi which perfectly balance urban growth and old heritage. With its red sandstone appearance, Shah Jahan's Red Fort is without a doubt the most spectacular. Visit the Tub Minar, India's tallest minaret. Built in the 12th century for stunning views from the top, particularly at dusk. Another well-known landmark is the India Gate, which looks similar to the iconic French Arc de Triomphe and was built as a memorial to Indian soldiers who died in World War I. The Jama Masjid was the last building constructed by Emperor Shah Jahan and dates back to 1658. Okinawa One of the five big islands of Japan and it has a population of 1 million people. You can find this island on the Eastern Chinese Sea and it's even the main island of the Ryukyu Islands. The island itself consists of hundreds of small islands as well and it's located between Kyushu and Japan and Taiwan. When you go to Okinawa Island, there's a lot of fun things you can do. Since this is a subtropical island in the southern part of Japan, it's perfect if you love going to the beach. The beaches will have white sand, coral reefs, and crystal clear water. You can also visit the Shuri Castle in Okinawa. The island actually used to be an independent country, and this place is a monument of this Ryukyu Kingdom. Shanghai. Known as one of the largest cities in the world, Shanghai, China is filled with history and excitement. An economic and central hub, Shanghai is the perfect mix of modern architecture and ancient design. There is nothing more evident than in the Bund, a breathtaking waterfront promenade located in Shanghai city center. Once nightfall hits, the promenade comes alive, as the most sought after clubs and bars lining the waterway open. During the daytime, though, it's your time to explore and shop. Visiting one of the many outdoor markets or upscale shopping centers for the best traditional and luxury goods. Of course, if you're on a family getaway, Shanghai Disneyland Park is the perfect destination for the whole family. Roller coasters and Mickey Mouse combined with Chinese culture, creating a new experience. If nothing else, the Shanghai Tower is great for any visitor, with 127 floors to climb and a stunning view of the city landscape from the lookout above. Mumbai The most globalized may feel a little overwhelming at first, but the trip will be worthwhile. 
Start your trip with a visit to the gateway, a 26-meter-high Indo-Islamic gateway that was constructed to honor King George V and Queen Mary's 1911 visit. Visit the famous Elephanta Caves, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located approximately 11 kilometers from the India Gateway. The permanent collection of 70,000 artifacts in the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalaya Museum includes Indian miniature paintings, Himalayan art, antiques, and many other things. You can also go to Chowpati Beach, a well-known beach in Mumbai, where you can unwind, take in the views of the ocean, and eat roti, puri, and samosas. Kuwait City, the perfect place for architecture lovers. This city has impressive buildings and museums that offer a window into the fascinating history of this region. It also has beautiful parks, museums, and mosques, which will be an interesting place for anyone visiting this place for the first time. Kuwait Towers are the most popular tourist spot here. Other than that, you can visit Souk al Mabarakia and Grand Mosque of Kuwait City, the TV Tower, and the Al Hamra skyscraper. Bishkek, the capital city and one of the most stunning tourist destinations in Kyrgyzstan, is bordered by the mighty Tian Shan Range. It is known as the gateway to Ala Arka National Park and the Kyrgyz Ala Two Mountains and is home to state galleries, art museums, arcades, and an opera and ballet theater. The city is always buzzing with tourists from all over the world. It has a wide range of restaurants serving everything from traditional Central Asian cuisine to international cuisine and fast food. A city tour of Bishkek will reveal the nomad, Soviet, and technologically advanced influences on the country's development. You can wander through the city's numerous green laneways, shop in bazaars for organic ingredients, and experience the world of its historic statues. It is a fantastic treat for culture and history buffs. Hong Kong As a former British colony, Hong Kong is a fusion of Western and Chinese culture and tradition. Even spoken language diverts from mainland China, as Cantonese is the primary language spoken by most Hong Kong residents, rather than Mandarin. Historically, Buddhism has been known as Hong Kong's major religion. This is reflected in the many monuments and statues paying homage to Lord Buddha. One of the most famous Buddhist sites in Hong Kong is Tian Tan Buddha, a massive bronze statue that was erected in 1993 on Lantau Island. Of course, not only are the temples and monuments breathtaking, but so is the city itself. The many skyscrapers and architectural structures are a sight to behold. For photos and an optimal viewpoint, Victoria Peak is a prime location. From the lookout point, you'll be gifted with a gorgeous view of the city skyline especially at sunrise and sunset. For cuisine, visitors won't be disappointed. Dim sum, sweet and sour pork, and various roasted meat, including chicken, pork, duck, and beef, are commonly found throughout this city. Bali. Indonesia has 17,000 islands, and Bali is the most sought after by tourists. Millions of tourists descend on Bali each year for its beautiful beaches, history, culture, and cuisine. The beaches and natural beauty of Bali bring many tourists to the island. Bali's beaches are idyllic and perfect for lounging around all day long. Nasu Dawa is one of the most visited beaches, but Bali also has hidden gems off the beaten path. You can find one of those secret locations on your own private time. Away from these beaches, you'll find mountains and forests to explore. Waterfalls, rice paddies, and canyons help make up the extraordinary landscape. Once you finish exploring nature, you can see the cultural side of the island with trips to temples, museums, and more. Antalya, another amazing city in Turkey that's located on the Mediterranean coast in the southwestern part of Turkey, this city has become more and more popular among tourists throughout the years. You can find Antalya by the Gulf of Antalya, and it has been around since as early as the first century BC. Legend has it that King Atalos II said, this must be heaven when he first discovered the city. In Antalya, you can find many amazing restaurants and bars, as well as some fun highlights to visit. You could go to 
Monica Lacy, for example. This is the original part of Antalya with architecture from the Roman, Byzantine, and Ottoman empires. Another stunning spot to visit is the Lower Dudin Waterfalls. This waterfall is actually one of a kind as it's the only waterfall in the entire world with three dimensions. You can also visit Purge Ancient City if you love history and especially archaeology. Tehran, one of the most beautiful cities to visit, known for its architectural marvels and market stalls selling highly specialized products, it's none other than Tehran. It is one of the best places to visit in Iran. A bustling metropolis nestled against the Al Bors Mountains, this capital city links visitors to modern-day Iran. The city is widely known as a tourist destination due to its ancient landmarks and sparkling skyline, making it a melting pot of the ancient and the contemporary. There are numerous galleries and palaces to visit as well as a hip cafe scene to indulge in the beautiful evening. Also, if you want to explore your surroundings, Takal and Darband are two interesting day trips from the city. They're graced with scenic scenery and offer a nice break from the bustling city of Tehran. Pattaya, known as Thailand's most famous beach resort town, you can reach it from Bangkok as the two cities are just 200 kilometers apart. Pattaya was once a low-key vacation destination for Thai people. American soldiers found the tranquil island during the Vietnam War during leave, and since then it's become a popular destination for travelers from around the globe. Jom Chien Beach or Nak Lua are the perfect places for families to spend their days. The beaches are quaint and relaxing, and you'll find plenty of amenities. Walking Street is the center of Pattaya's entertainment. However, this is an area designed for adult travelers rather than families. Pattaya is kid-friendly with plenty of attractions families can enjoy. The Nong Nuch Tropical Botanical Garden, Big Gold Buddha, and Coral Island are all perfect places for families to see. Osaka Another amazing city in Japan is Osaka. The name Osaka actually translates to Big Hill City, and that's exactly what this is. It's the third biggest city in Japan, and it has over 2.7 million inhabitants, thanks to all the schools, shops, and businesses in the area. Osaka is the perfect place to go as a tourist as well, thanks to all of the amazing highlights you can visit here. You can go to Osaka Castle, for example, which is also called the Nishino Maru Castle. Unfortunately, the castle is a mere replica of the original castle from 1583, but it's still an impressive sight to see. Another great place to visit in Osaka is the Koruman Ichiba Market. You can find a lot of amazing Japanese street food here as well as some of the best sushi. Lastly, you should definitely visit the Umeda Sky Building in Osaka during your visit. This is a modern building that's over 170 meters high. Seoul. The capital of South Korea, Seoul is known as a large and diverse metropolis. Popular worldwide due to the musical hit Gangnam Style, Seoul's upscale and modern Gangnam district contains many high-end restaurants, shopping centers, and a rich demographic. Due to Seoul's history as the country's capital, it's also the location of several of the country's most elaborate palaces. Some of the most notable palaces to visit include Duk Su Gong Palace, Chang Guyong Gong Palace, and Chang Jok Gung Palace. Villages, shrines, gates, and structures can also be found throughout this city, making signing up for a tour a great way to visit all the most popular sites in one fell swoop. For foodies, street food is common and a great way to indulge in South Korean comfort food. Tiok Bakai, Soon Dae, and Gim Bop are popular dishes to try and can be found in most outdoor markets. For indoor dining, indulge in Korean barbecue. Having become widely popular in the West, Korean barbecue is a fun way to dine while also being entertained. Phuket, Thailand's biggest island and also one of the country's most popular travel destinations, Patong Beach and Kata Beach are two of the most popular spots to spend your days. The areas around the beach have food stalls and restaurants aplenty. 
Foodies will find the cuisine to be fantastic as local recipes are made fresh. You'll find plenty of temples to explore and snap selfies in front of. There are more than two dozen temples in Phuket. The island's waters are crystal clear, providing you with a chance to dive and snorkel around the coastline. Phuket's old town is full of history and culture. You can see the architecture of the island and learn about Phuket's past. One of the most enjoyable aspects of this island is the sunsets. Sitting on the beaches of Phuket that face west provides an incredible way to end the day. Shenzhen Located between Hong Kong and mainland China, Shenzhen has developed into a major city with over 18 million inhabitants. This is part due to government reform in the early 1980s, where Shenzhen was designated as an economic zone. As a result, Shenzhen became the futurist hub of technology and finance that it is today, with high-end shopping centers and skyscrapers filling this bustling metropolis. So not too shockingly, Shenzhen has become home to a staggering 113 billionaires. Luxury hotels, high-end business establishments, and beach resorts cater to these elite and eager tourists. For those visiting, the window of the world is just one of the many sites that show Shenzhen's modern advancement. Featuring replicas of world-famous structures such as the Eiffel Tower and the Taj Mahal, of course the China Folk Culture Village and Shenzhen Lian Haoshan Park are available for those that desire an outdoor or cultural experience. For cuisine, order a classic Cantonese seafood hotpot or enjoy the Cantonese-style dim sum for an authentic experience. With an appropriate dessert to finish your evening off, such as ginger milk curd or mango mochi. Tokyo The capital city of Japan is Tokyo, and yours truly must visit it sometime. Not only is it the capital city of Japan, but it's the largest city as well, thanks to the 14 million people that live there. This is actually 11% of the total population of Japan. There's a lot you can do and see in this city, so make sure you plan enough days for your trip. One of the most beautiful places in Tokyo that you should visit is the gardens of Koshikawa Karakuen. This park was constructed in 1629 by a refugee from the Ming Dynasty Istanbul. This beautiful city of Turkey is a cultural and historic center that dates back to the 7th century BCE. With such a long history, Istanbul is filled with fascinating architecture, art, and neighborhoods. One must see the Hagia Sophia Mosque, a building that has both Islamic and Christian elements due to its long past. Visit the Blue Mosque, founded in 1616, the Kora Church, which has beautiful mosaics and frescoes, and the Top Kapi Palace, while sightseeing as well. For a huge taste of culture, travelers should visit the Grand Bazaar, where merchant stalls fill several hallways. To see a stunning overhead view of Istanbul, visit the Galata Tower. The gastronomy is amazing, too. Try local foods such as pide, Turkish pizza, and kebabs. Another great thing to round out your visit is a cruise on the Bosphorus River, where you can see the city from a different perspective. Kuala Lumpur Finally, we've arrived at the renowned Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's stellar capital. Its most famous feature is the Patronus Twin Towers and its sky bridge and observation deck. The moment you step out of the airport, Kuala Lumpur's landscape will take your breath away. It's known for having a center, which is the Golden Triangle, that includes Bukit Bintang, KLCC, and Chinatown. The city is overall known for its sky-reaching skyscrapers and its colonial-style buildings. People come for the malls, for the numerous stalls of world-famous street food, and for the upscale restaurants, and even for the famous Pataling Street Flea Market. The glass and metal cities soon give way to a green paradise, you'll find out. The 400-year-old Batu Caves are a must-visit, and so are the waterfalls, the ancient Sri Maharaimam Temple, and the Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. Singapore Technically a country, Singapore is a popular tourist destination for visitors from around the world. This sovereign island boasts 6 million residents, which are all contained in a small area of only 728 0.6 kilometers squared. 
Skyscrapers fill this densely populated city, which is also known as one of the most expensive places to live in the world. Even though Singapore is densely populated, it doesn't mean it lacks its natural wonders. The Cloud Forest, National Orchid Garden, and Botanic Garden are all beautiful natural sites that allow you to take a moment and escape that city landscape. It wouldn't be right, though, to visit Singapore without trying its world-famous street food. Singapore's national dish, chicken rice, is one of the most popular purchases by locals and visitors at street vendors, with Char Kwe Tiao coming in a close second. Dubai One of the most famous cities in the world, it's a city that's changing all the time. New skyscrapers are being built, and the city is trying to become even bigger and grander. Dubai has a lot to offer with its modern architecture, luxurious lifestyle, and great weather. Here you can see some of the biggest buildings in the world and taste some delicious food. Burj Khalifa, Desert Safari, Global Village, Burj Al Arab, Palm Jumeirah, and Dubai Frame are just a few of the many amazing places you can visit in this remarkable city. Macau a Portuguese colony until 1976, the peninsula of Macau became an autonomous territory of China in 1999. European cultural influence can be seen reflected in the cobblestone streets, neoclassical architecture, and Senado Square. But don't expect everyone to speak Portuguese, as only 7% of Macau's current population today is fluent. When it comes to Portuguese cuisine, though, outside of Portugal, Macau is the next best thing. Portuguese egg tarts are a common find, with many restaurants serving fusion dishes combining the best of Portuguese and Chinese cuisine. Of course, if you're looking to let loose and possibly win big, Macau is the place to be. Since legalizing gambling in 1844, Macau has become a casino and gambling hotspot, in part due to mainland China's strict ban on gambling and casinos, which has resulted in thousands of Chinese tourists traveling to Macau to place their bets. If gambling isn't your thing, check out the historic center of Macau, a known UNESCO World Heritage Site, or the ruins of St. Paul. Both are great places to learn about Macau's history and witness the stunning Portuguese-inspired architecture firsthand. Bangkok Bangkok is the epicenter of backpack travel in Asia. It's a melting pot of cultures and people from all over the globe. The city is unique, and a stay in Bangkok isn't like visiting any other Asian location. Thailand has its own culture thanks to a lack of colonization. Thailand wasn't colonized by Western nations, which kept it unique compared to other countries on the continent. Bangkok is home to the world's largest Chinatown. It's a sight to see a little piece of China dropped right in the middle of Thai city. You won't want to miss the city's one-of-a-kind landmarks, such as the reclining Buddha and Wat Arun. The street food in Bangkok is divine, as local cuisine can be found at budget-friendly prices. The street food is so good and diverse, you can eat all three meals from a local stall. So which city did you like the most? Tell us in the comments and let us know which one was your favorite city.